pack leaders, this is Tino Friends and Ernie protecting families by protecting the pack and today we're going to be showing you uh, an update on the um, Mad Hatter Auto Tuner. I've added a cool feature where uh, you can actually do an initial guess on it so we can uh, create a bunch of lists or at least lists from pre-existing settings that have been working or have been working in the past. Uh, looks like my... I don't know. We'll, we'll check out this video. I thought my, my speakers might be a little weird right now. But anyways, um, so I want to show you this where you can actually load a bunch of settings. Uh, and I'm going to try and have it later on where right, uh, you can add your, your own custom settings from a file or something like that. Maybe a little spreadsheet. But right now, it's we pre-enter it. It's already kind of thrown in there. And this is mainly because uh, some people who have used it didn't know what to do on how to start up uh, you know a good initial guess kind of like the be the, the driver kind of thing so we're gonna take care of that part and then we'll also have the tuner uh, do it so what it also does now is it kind of just um, instead of just perturbing left and right and then going down left and right it will just perturb left and right on the first variable and whichever direction it's good if it says hey it's good here we're gonna keep going all the way to the right or if it says it's good here on the left it go it's gonna keep going to the left on that one variable and then it'll move on to next and it'll push it left or right depending on where it's going to go and then once it, it can not go anymore it'll come back go to the next one and do it again so let's go ahead and show you what's going on right now all right so here's the uh the function i just want to show you how it's working right now uh it'll you know create the table uh we have a series of initial guesses that we will do and i'll show you the initial guesses that we have so where you kind of manually enter the uh, settings here. Uh, so it'll drop in, uh, create the table of settings that we've kind of uh, pre-figured out. And then based on that, it'll run through and get the results of it. After it gets the result, it'll find the best one that's in there. Once it finds the best one, so it's gonna retrieve the initial, the best guess based on the maximum settings that we've given it. Uh, once it, it has retrieved it, then we kind of go in and kind of do the, um, or the Cosmo method. I've been talking with Cosmo. I think his name is George, um, and he, he kind of goes after RSI length first, buy level, sell level, and then he'll go into BB dev up, dev down. Now this is still kind of in the pre-draft stages. I think this is what he wants. I'm gonna have to talk to him later on after I get this all squared away and done, so he can test it out and then get me the official uh, update, and I'll make some adjustments from there. After that, we'll sweep the um, the MA types. So we'll you know try different uh, moving average types from you know the weighted moving average to Trima, Dima, all that other stuff. After that, then we kind of uh, look at the BB length again and uh, mess with that. I think there's also a MACD somewhere. I might have forgotten that. I will probably add that. I think it was a MACD signal that needs to be um, adjusted. Um, after the sweep, I believe. Oh no, before the sweep. So I'll, I'll, I'll add a little MACD signal here. Uh, I think that's what we're missing. So I, you know, those little things that I need to you know, clean up with uh, with Cosmo and uh, kind of figure these things out. So really excited because this is like the starting point to um, kind of moving towards automating the whole thing. And then if we can actually get a good initial guess in the beginning, uh, then we can then tune it from that point on. Then that means I can start creating bots automatically without having to initially guess it myself because uh, it'll just go right in set it all up tune all the coins while I sleep and then um, on top of that once it's done we'll be able to switch it over to a simulator wallet monitor it then the next step would be for the Mad Hatter to detect positive trades on a simulator wallet and then switch it over to a um, a live wallet trade watch the settings on that and if it trades positive double down if it starts to lose turn off the bot and then uh, retune the, the coin if need to or clone it again and retune it for another uh, scenario so we're gonna keep all the settings on there I think it'll be a lot of bots eventually but uh, we'll, we'll see what we need to do maybe there are certain bots that kind of go out of date never get used for months and we just kill it you know or just retune it after a month or something like that and then, uh, and go from there. So we'll see. I uh, hope you guys are excited about that. And uh, let me know if you guys want to add any more features. I'm also going to be adding some bulk features like, um, you know, like we, we want to like bulk add 
uh, our bots onto uh, a group, it's kind of like kind of tedious how to select each one one by one. Uh, so uh, we're gonna have to load it onto a, like a table where you could kind of check box whatever you want to load onto a group, and then just kind of hit the button, and it'll go in and move all the bots into a group that you want. And then that way we can kind of group them together, kind of sort them a little better, organize it, uh, maybe rebalance some trades. So if um, you know it starts to make you know bots to make profit, but there's coins left over and the trade amount is fixed, uh, to kind of rebalance those uh, those wallets. So I say, hey, you know what? I I have increased portfolio now. Uh, maybe use 10% every time instead, uh, and 10% of the entire portfolio instead of a fixed 10% of, of what we initially set, and then it trades. And even though we're we're like two times the BTC or whatever, and it's still trading a small amount, we have to go back in and readjust those trade amounts. Uh, that's something that uh, I'm looking to add later on. So any other features that you guys want want, want me to do, um, let me know, and I'll add that for you guys. All right, thank you guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.